All right, part two of my ban list discussion. Okay, so this is going to involve the uh, semi-limited portion, unlimited, along with talking of, talking of other cards and decks that need to get hit, but not necessarily know what needs to get hit out of those decks and to what and to where it should get hit. So, um, and I mean, it's other stuff that people want to get hit, but most people, but the general common sense thing is it's not going to get hit. So that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to start with the semi-limited. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. So first thing I am going to start with is this guy right here, Book of Moon. It went to one like a... I think I, I'm sure it was last. I think it was last format, and everybody was shocked and it was like they just want to make money off their exceeds. Yeah, they do. Um, but with this format being so special, summon heavy, um, Book of Moon needs to come back and bring get back control into this deck. And I think everybody knows that, including Konami. The Konami. So it needs to come to two. I kind of want it to go back to three. Reminds me back of the old days with brain control, heavy storm, this guy, rescue out, uh, rescue cat. So I think this card definitely needs to come back to two, uh, at least. Otherwise, I might I th I would probably quit this game because I love this card and it adds it's so good and it needs to come back to help stop the synchros and exceeds and slow down the game a little bit. It's so fast right now. Um. Next thing I'll talk about, I guess, is MST. Uh, it's at three. Uh, my personal viewpoint is it should go to two, especially if Royal Oppression comes back, because you don't want to bring back Royal Oppression with three MSTs and make it be worthless. So I think putting MST back at two for the main is uh, is uh, is the right thing to do. You can still side dust tornadoes if you choose to, but I mean this just allows um, people not to be able to run to main three and side the third and i think three mst is just overkill so i think two is where it should be at for now um and that kind of thing so uh yeah uh next thing i'm going to talk about is lone fire blossom uh dandelion is thought about getting the ban hammer so i mean why not bring back lone fire to two to help boost those plant decks right um i definitely would like lone fire to come back to two i think it's a good idea um, and, uh, maybe same with Debris, but that's on another part, um, but, you know, who knows. Uh, next thing, Rescue Rabbit. Um, Rescue Rabbit decks are kind of interesting to talk about because they can be considered inconsistent, but, I mean, when they start with Rescue Rabbit, they can go Rescue Rabbit, two Dinos, Legia, Set 3, and it's ridiculous. Um, now... I, Rescue Rabbit, everyone thinks, is the one to hit because it'll hurt consistencies of the deck. But the other problem is they can just run Gold Sarks, and if Tour Guide isn't hit, they can Tour Guide and bring back the Rescue Cat, Levier, yada yada yada, and just that kind of thing. So who knows if it'll make if it could make the deck better or worse, or instead of hitting Rescue Rabbit, hit uh, Lagia. So it's either or, but I mean, semiing the Rabbit could also. Um, uh, stop possible other problems that come in the future. So, you know, who knows? Um, I think that Rescue Rabbit should definitely get semi. And I mean, with Leviar getting limited too, it, it just depends. So I think Rescue Rabbit 2, Leviar 1. And I think that'll uh, hurt ra uh, Rabbit enough. Uh, next one is Black Wings. Black Wings have been dormant for this format. They haven't been doing anything. Everybody thinks that something, they need to get something back. And the two cards, one of the, um, and they need one of two cards back, which is Black Roll into two or Collude to two. Um, I personally would prefer Black Roll to come back to Black Wings because, I mean, Collude is just like a, it's like an Honest. I mean, why should Collude come back to two when Honest is? I mean, sure, Honest is a much better card, but Collude is so similar that I think they should both stay at one. And I mean, you can search that Collude with Black Whirlwind, which is fine. You can Dark Eruption it. I mean, if you choose to run it, and I mean, Black Whirlwind just gives you more options, it allows you to play, um, go through the deck easier, and just that kind of thing. I think Black Whirlwind would help give it a better boost without taking it over the top. So I think Black Whirlwind is the one that should come back, but I mean, who knows. Um, next one I'm going to talk about is Light Swarms, Lumina, slash JD. Um, Konami tried to bring back Light Swarms for this format by putting JD to 3, 
Uh, I think they put Necro into it, and they brought BLS back, right? So, um, but it ended up not doing anything. So I think they're going to do the same thing again. They're going to try and bring back Light Swarms, um, but maybe they'll try and do it from a more consistent side this time. And bringing back Lumina to 2 will definitely, I think that was a huge factor of the consistency with it. And it's, I mean, it it's one of the big things about it. But if they bring Lumina back to 2, they have to bring JD to 2 at least. So, I mean, who knows, maybe... I mean, personally, I think they should bring Lumina to 2 and JD to 2. Um, and preferably ban BLS, but who knows, they might not, they might not ban it for that, for the same reason. Um, alright, next thing is, some people are like, Bestiari to 2. And I mean, they're not even GB, GB players, and I mean, me being a Gladiator Beast player, um, I think to myself, I was like, well, I mean, you bring this back to 2, and you pretty much have to limit this guy, who's the problem you put this to two because this guy was so good or they put this guy to one because this guy was so good instead of this guy to one and this guy unlimited so i mean if they put this to two it's kind of pointless i mean putting it to two is nothing put it to three and put this guy to one put this to two this still needs to go to one so i think semi limiting this is pointless um because i mean you do that and this has to go to one prisma builds kind of go in eh. but i mean uh, because they don't really care about that. They just want to spam the geysers. Now, for control builds, they want, they'd rather have only one geyseris and, uh, two, two bestiari to kill, to hit those back row for, um, more con control and everything. I mean, I would definitely love this to go to two, but this would go to one, but then the prisma builds and stuff like that, a, a hero lives, would just not, um, live. So, I mean, I think it's fine where it's at. Um, I don't want a GB format, so leave it where it is, or if you don't, limit this. So, you know, it just depends what Konami does, but I think it's fine where it is, even though I'm a GB player, and it's it's just fine. Um, moving on to Unlimited. Um, Destiny Draw, bring back to 3, hasn't done anything, no Destiny Heroes whatsoever, so it's fine at bring it back to 3. Uh, Magical Stone Excavation, few people run the card. Um, maybe like Exodia FTK or Attempt to FTK, but I mean, I w they wouldn't even run three anyways. So I think three is perfectly fine. Um, it's not gonna make much more of a difference than two. Next, is Summoner Monk. Um, Summoner Monk. They brought it back to two. Um, hasn't done anything really. Um, so everybody's like, bring it back to three. Some people are like, what? It's good with insectors. I don't know how. I don't. I I don't know. I'm not. I haven't really looked at insectors either. But I mean, it's like. This guy can get Valored, so you can, so I mean, it's bad about that. And like with him, you have to add extra spells to make him, if you want to base a deck around him, you have to add extra spells. And I mean, other, and if you don't, you're discarding some of your best spells, like Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, uh, Heavy Storm, MST, who knows. So I mean, I think he's perfectly fine now. I mean, he's not broken, Rescue Cat's gone, so, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, if, I mean, Rescue Rabbit's still around and stuff, but, I mean, nobody's even been using him. So I think it's fine to bring back him back to 3. And lastly, he's Bottomless for Unlimited. Um, a lot of people are like, bring Bottomless back to 3. I don't agree. I think it's perfectly fine at 2. I think it's a perfectly balanced card at 2. Bringing 3 is just unnecessary. Um, uh, I mean, I don't even think it... I mean, I don't think it would cause a problem if it came back to 3, but who knows. I mean, I think it's fine at 2. It's balanced at 2. Why touch it? I mean, you don't want to cause a problem when, I mean, it's fine where it is. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that is my, like, um, uh, semi-limited and unlimited stuff. Um, so now I'm just going to talk about the, uh, just other cards that people have been talking about going on the list, coming off the list, and just other decks that need to get hit that, I mean, some cards haven't really been on the li most people's list. But some people are like, ooh, this deck needs to get hit, but how? Um, so first one I'm going to talk about is Librarian. I saw this on one person's list, and I kind of thought to myself, has, Lion, has Librarian done anything in this format? And I don't think he has. So I think Librarian is fine at one. It doesn't need to be banned like the person said it did. So I think I think um, Librarian is perfectly fine at where it is. Uh, next one is Emergency Teleport. It's emergency teleport's been at one for a while. 
Um, big reason is because of Mindmaster and uh, Teledad was the reason. But Mindmaster's now banned. Teledad's like not really existing anymore. So bring Emergency Teleport back to two. Plus, it's it's a very possible thing because Konami is making a new like physic or physic. Yeah, I just got done with physics lab, so that's why. But um, uh, psychic. They're coming out with a new psychic, new psychic monsters. So I think emergency teleport would um, would definitely help boost their sales on that. And I mean, it's not a broken card with Mind Master anymore, so I think it's perfectly okay to um bring it back to two. Uh, next one's tour guide. Tour guide is a TCG exclusive. Everyone, you may want it to get hit, but the obvious thing is it's not going to get hit. Um, the obvious thing is Konami is going to reprint it. Everybody can get one, and then it's just going to lose popularity. It, or um, after and along with Sengen getting banned, which is likely to happen. So I mean, I don't see this getting hit. If it does, awesome. But I mean, nobody. I don't think anybody really expects this to get hit. Uh, also with that, everybody is like, I hate this card. Is Tengu? Tengu. Um, I don't think that this card has been too, uh, impactish on the format, so, I mean, of course it is an amazing floater, it's the best floater in the game, um, but I mean, overall, I don't think it needs to get hit, if you hit it to two, I mean, nobody would even run the card, in my opinion, so, um, I think that, I mean, it's perfectly, okay. I, they're, I mean, they're not gonna hit it, of course it's too, it's so good of a card, but I mean, there's no way to hit it without killing it. So, you know, so I think they're just going to leave it where it, has, where it is, along with it being a TCG exclusive. Uh, uh, earlier I talked about Debris. Um, who knows if this will come back if Danny gets hit. But if Danny gets hit, it can come back to two, um, at least for the format maybe, because it can, it can help. It'll stop those ridiculous Trish plays, Black Rose two tokens. That kind of thing. So who knows? Bring it back to two for for, for this next format. See how it does, and you know, go from there. Um, now going into more specific like decks, uh, in sectors, in sectors, everybody is like, and sectors are crazy. They're dominating the OCG. They have to get hit somehow. But everybody is like, how? Um, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> But, I mean, everybody is like, hit Hornet, it's the whole thing, it's the whole reason the loop works. And everybody is like, hitting Hornet is not going to do anything. You need, Hornet, you only need one Hornet. One Hornet. You, you limit it, and you put him in for Armageddon Knights. Um, other people are like, hit Dragonfly, and I saw in somebody else's list Centipede. Now, I don't know exactly how Insectors work, I haven't worked, I haven't played them, I haven't looked at them, I don't even care about them. Um, I've just, you know, so I don't know what to say here. Um... Just what I know off the deck, I, I would rather hit something like Dragonfly or something than Hornet, just based on what I've heard from other people. So who knows what could happen, what should happen. I'm not particularly set on that because I don't know much about it. Um, next one, next deck is Dark Worlds. Dark Worlds, especially with wind-ups um, now out and discarding everything, uh, Dark Worlds have gotten a little more popularity. Uh, every... I definitely am one of the people that think uh, Dark Worlds is one of the decks that needs to get hit, um, but nobody knows exactly how. Everybody's like, hit Grafa. Um, I am personally one of those that like, Grafa doesn't need hit. I mean, it's fine. So um, there are three cards that I think that are possibles. Uh, Grafa being one of them. Another one is uh, Drag Down from the Grave and their Field Spell Gates something whatever. Um, the number one card that I want to see limited is Drag Down from the Grave. Drag Down from the Grave is a ridiculous card. Um, you get to see your opponent's hand, you get to discard the best one from it, and then they discard one of your Dark Worlds, and you get a plus. So, yeah. I don't see where this card is very fair. I think it's way too good. Um, should di Of all the cards, it should be the one that hit goes down to one. Uh, next one, ex second one that should... Uh, get hit if drag down doesn't is the gates field spell because you can keep reusing it you can discard draw and i mean you, when you remove stuff it allows uh fodder for uh levy air to bring back um and it's just that kind of thing and it just makes it so good um so 
uh, I don't know where to put this. I mean, if Gates would not go to one, in my opinion, if it got hit, it would go to two. So, I mean, I think Drag Down is the one that still needs to get hit. And then, third one, like I said, was Graffa. Graffa at two will do very little, will cause little difference at three. It would need to get hit to one. And hitting it one, I think, would be too much of a hit two Dark Worlds in order for it to be good. Because it would be too easy to bottomless. It would be too easy to, like, uh, DD Crow, etc., whatever. So I definitely think that Drag Down is the one that should get hit. It's the most broken of them in regards to Dark Worlds. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I already talked about Thunder King. Last card. Last one. Trishula Dragon. Trishula Guy. The big guy. Um, I... I saw this on another person's list too for band, and I thought not really necessary. Trishula hasn't been. I haven't seen it to be broken, 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 uh, like it was last format with multiples. Um, I think it's perfectly balanced at one. I mean, especially if they ban Dandelion, Trishula is not going to be as good. So at one, I think it's perfectly fine. It does not need to get the ban hammer. So um, yeah, I. I think that's good. So, yeah, that is my bandless discussion for you guys. Um, um, oh, um, so let me know how you thought of the video. Uh, if you want, if you didn't really like it you, and you prefer more of a specific what my predictions will be and what some of my hopes will be, please let me know, comment about that so I can maybe make a video of that um, while you're you know waiting for my videos in May um, and after I graduate so that way you can watch videos of mine s still um, watch everything and, and that kind of thing um, so yeah make sure you comment make sure you rate and make sure you subscribe so you can get my future videos in the next few months so uh, I think that is all I have so peace you two